Hey there YouTubers, JB Coins here with another video on the top 12 most valuable modern dollar coins. Uh, and of course the first one, uh, or the top one still, uh, is the Sacagawea Quarter uh, Mule Coin, uh, of which 16 are known and they have sold in price uh, range from 40000 to 150000 uh, there's a collector in New Mexico named Tommy Bollock who now owns 12 of the known 2000P double denomination mule errors. Uh, he said on May 7th that of this year that he paid $85,000 to acquire from Fred Weinberg uh, an example graded MS66 by PCGS. He has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars acquiring the error coins. Uh, the highest publicly known price for any of his mule errors is $117,500 that he paid to acquire an NGC MS67 example from Die Pair 1 uh, at Stax Bowers Gallery Auction August 6th of 2014. Uh, the number two coin is a 2007 George Washington struck on a Jefferson nickel, graded MS-64. It sold at Heritage Auctions uh, January of 2017, uh, January of 2017 for $17,625. Um, so you're looking on, on a nickel planchet for that one. Number three is this 2007D Sacagawea dollar with edge lettering. There's only one known. PCGS reported on their website that they paid out a $10,000 reward to Andrew Moores of Lakewood, Colorado for submitting the first authentic, known authentic Sacagawea dollar with edge lettering on it. The coin's discovery and pocket change, pocket change, check your change, 2007, after his reward, he was able to keep the coin. Uh, the coin was later sold for $17,161 on July 15, 2012 at auction by Great Collections. The next coin is a 1999 Susan B. Anthony uh, on a Sacagawea gold planchette. Four are known to exist. Uh, they sell in a range of twelve dollars to $15,000 each. And you can see they're actually a fairly pretty coin on that, on that planchette. Um, the next one is a 2000P Sacagawea on a Susan B planchette. There are approximately five of those known, and they also are selling twelve dollars to $15,000 a piece in the condition you're seeing, by the way. Um, number six, 2009P Native American Satin finish, uncirculated, no edge lettering. There's only one known, and it sold for $10,000 um, in a private sale. 2000, uh, let's see, number seven is the 2000P Cheerios dollar. Uh, 5,500 were made and were in Cheerios boxes. You can identify it by the tail feathers on the right. You can see the extra tail feather detail and also the number of tail feathers versus um, the rest of the uh, Sacagawea dollars that are in circulation. Uh, the, there's another dollar later that we'll talk about that shares the same tail basically. Uh, but there were 5,500 made and they sell for about two to 8,000 uh, at recent sales at Heritage Auctions. Uh, the next one is this one, the 2000P Speared or Wounded Eagle. Uh, they've sold anywhere from 200 to 8,500 for that, co uh, that coin. And you can see where the arrow is going. That it appears like there's two pieces of metal sticking through the breast of the eagle. 2000 struck on a, on a quarter planchette from Maryland. It sold April 5th of 2017 at Heritage Auctions for $6,462. This one, which is really cool, uh, is um, it's a 2000 
uh, MS-66 obverse cap die, sold at Heritage Auctions January 2016th for $5,875. Number 10 is a 1981S Susan B, MS67. She sold at Heritage Auctions February of 2017 for $4,465. is extremely rare. There are three in MS67 and none finer. Number 11 is a 2000P um, Good Acre presentation, special price, uh, special strike. This is the one I was referring to with the Cheerios dollar. There are 5,000 known. These coins were her payment for designing the uh, Sacagawea dollar, as it says on the uh, on the uh, holder. It was they were presented to her uh, for uh, being the sculptor for the obverse that you're looking at. And she was a very smart lady. She got these in payment and she immediately took them all to ICG, got every single one of them graded, held on to them for about 10, 15 years, and then started to parcel them out. And eventually before she passed, she um, sold the remainder to a collector uh, or to a dealer who is now uh, selling them out. The last one that went, went up for public sale Sold January 17th for $3,290 in MS-69 condition. And number 12 is the 1979P MS-67 Wide Rim Susan B. Anthony. Uh, the last one sold at Heritage uh, May of 2016 for, uh, for $3,000, while an MS-64 sold for only $42. So uh, a couple of points on that MS scale, especially on a Susan B, can make a huge difference between a $42 coin and a $3,500 coin. So uh, a lot of these coins are still in circulation. If you've watched our videos, you've seen how many Susan Bs we found um, in a in, in a single box and some of the other coins are starting to show up because people just don't know what these things are and so but check your change check your boxes if you're coin roll hunting hunting uh, you know look for these coins don't don't assume that just because they're on this list and they're making huge they're selling for huge money that you can't find one uh, we had a subscriber that found a 69 s double die from watching a video found it and made $18,000 if he'd have thought that he couldn't find one and change, he'd be $18,000 poorer today. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was informative and helps you to try and find these types of coins that are still out there. Um, we will have links to a lot of these videos, uh, a lot of these coins that we've shot more informative and more detailed videos about. Um, so until next time, please continue to like, share, subscribe, and uh, J&B signing out.